हेलो क्रिस्टल्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट कैरिंग एंगल इफ यू डिंट सी माय दैट वीडियो प्लीज गो एंड चेक आउट माय दैट वीडियो सो यू कैन गेट लर्न अबाउट कैरिंग एंगल इन टू डेज वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट क्यू एंगल मीन्स द क्वाड्रिसेप्स एंगल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट मैनी इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग क्यू एंगल सो स्टेट यून विद मी एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड first of all let's learn about some basic anatomy and the biomechanics as i said in my previous video on the knee joint the knee complex is made by two joints the tibio femoral and the patello femoral joint so as we have to learn about q angle we should know have some basic idea of the patello femoral joint so the patello femoral joint is formed between the patella and the femur The patella is the largest sesamoid bone in the body. It is triangular shaped bone with its apex directed inferiorly. The posterior surface of the patella is articular. It is divided into medial and lateral facet by a vertical ridge. There is also a vertical ridge is present which separates the medial facet from the medial edge. It is also known as the odd facet of the patella. patella lies on a femoral sulcus in the fully extended knee and as the flexion progresses it enters into the intercondylar groove as you can see in this picture as the flexion progresses patella uh, enters into the femoral groove now as you can see in this picture in the early flexion inferior pole of the patella makes a contact with the femur and as the flexion progresses contact area moves superiorly and the laterally and in the last degree of flexion only a lateral and the odd facet are in contact with the femur medial facet is completely intact so this is some basic anatomy related to the patello femoral joint now The patello femoral joint can undergo very high stresses during the typical activities of daily living because as the knee flexes and extends the patella is pulled superiorly by the quadriceps tendon with the pull resisted inferiorly by the patellar tendon so the combination of these pulls produces a posterior compressive force on the patella so as the knee flexion progresses the angle of pull between quadriceps and the patellar tendon decreases which increases the joint reaction force and in turn produces a greater patello femoral joint compression here's the main point comes when the knee is extended instability of the patella arises because patella sits on the shallow aspect of the superior femoral sulcus where bony instability and the patello femoral joint compression from the quadriceps are reduced i hope it made sense now because as we all know that the femur is not straight but we can see the obliquity of the femur is present so because of this reason normal physiological valgus is exist between tibia and the femur so the action lines of the quadriceps and the patella tendon do not go inside instead the patella pulled slightly laterally by this two forces i hope you understand well so now let's talk about q angle so it is a an angle which is formed between a line from asis to the center of patella and a line from tibial tuberosity to the center of patella so the angle is formed between these two lines this angle is first described by brett strom as an angle formed between ligamentum patelli and the extension of the line formed by the quadriceps femoris muscle resultant force with its apex at the patella the q angle is varies in the male from 14 to 16 degree and in the female it is varies from 16 to 18 degree due to the wider pelvis so uh, why the q angle is very important because it describes the lateral force applied to the patello femoral joint by the contraction of the quadriceps muscle and it is a quantitative measurement of the patellar position with respect to lower extremity alignment 
also when in the cases q angle increases it increases the lateral force on the patella it increases compression of the lateral patellar facet against the patellar leaf of the femoral sulcus so in the presence of a large enough lateral force it actually sublux or dislocate the patella when the quadriceps is activated in the extended position and also increases lateral pull of the quadriceps on the patella causing extensor mechanism mal alignment which leads to patellofemoral pain syndrome also known as the anterior knee pain syndrome now how do we measure q angle so the measurement of the q angle by the following procedure so the patient position is supine with the quadriceps relaxed and keeping the pelvis square the legs were extended at the knee joint and the feet were placed in a position of a neutral rotation such that the toes were pointing directly upwards and were perpendicular to the resting surface the instrument is a uh, used for measurement is goniometer and the procedure for the measurement is draw a line from asi to the center of patella and another line from tibial tubercle to the center of patella then place a stable arm at the line from asi to the center of patella and the movable arm at the line from tibial tubercle to the center of patella measure the angle between intersection of these two lines i hope you understand the procedure now after the measuring the q angle if it is less than 13 degree it is suggestive of chondromalacia patelli or the patella alta which is the higher position of the patella than the normal or if it is greater than 18 or 20 degree it is often associated with the chondromalacia patelli subluxing patella increased femoral antiversion genu valgum lateral displacement of the tibial tubercle or the increased lateral tibial torsion i hope you understand the whole topic but let's revise very quickly so the q angle is mainly formed between the lines extending from asi to the center of patella and the line uh, from tibial tuberosity to the center of patella it gives us information about net force on the patella normal q angle is varies from 13 to 20 degree less than this indicates the patella alta and greater than 20 degree indicates genu valgum and subluxation or dislocation of the patella femoral antiversion or the lateral tibial torsion i hope you understand the whole topic very well if yes then please like this video and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for my latest updates thank you stay safe stay healthy and please keep supporting